a pleasant good morning my beautiful sisters and my brothers in Christ we need to give God the glory for this is the day that he has made and we are going to rejoice in it in spite of everything that we're going through today I want to focus on Galatians 5 22 that is talking about the fruit of the Spirit there are nine of them they are love joy peace long-suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness temperance which of these fruits are your least favorite there are days when some of these fruits are hard to eat i know i too struggle so i pick out my favorite one and have that one first however the word of god said if you do not have all of these fruits it is against the law so today i pray that as difficult as it is to eat the entire fruit salad we are going to try and eat everything amen we are building godly character when we obey christ's law and principles paul said that you know me tell you all oh, like the man paul so father as we come to you today emptying ourselves of the things that are not of you we're asking you god to restore our soul fill us up lord jesus afresh today give us courage to accept the things that are not right and and be able to withstand the things and the adversity that comes our way today. Because this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I pray that God will continue to cover you and your entire family, your entire household, your entire atmosphere. May when you walk into any places today, that they will see Christ in you. Remember, I am XO, XO Donna. I love to hug, you know, and because I know that the Lord Jesus Christ owes me all the time, I have to be able to share it at times. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. There is someone out there that needs an encouraging word. There is someone out there that know, need to know that God is good, that his mercies endure forever. There is somebody need out there that needs to know that in spite of what we're going through, we have to live by God's law and God's principle. No matter what the person may think about you, you know, because they're going to think because God give them that privilege to think. They can choose to think bad about you or they can choose to think good about you. Today, with the fruit of the spirit, look at them. Which one you struggle with? Are you struggling with long suffering? Are you struggling with meekness? Ask God. 